Uh, hello my dear students so today's class will be continuation from the previous class so in my previous class so we have been discussing about uh, this refraction by prism okay so this is already whatever we have discussed in our last class right so this is so this is the prism so we have considered an equilateral prism and uh, you see this is incident ray and this is emergent ray right so this is what already I have explained in my previous class okay this is already I have explained in previous class. So we have derived the deviation, right? Deviation equal to I plus E plus A. So from here, we can say that the deviation depends on the angle of prism. Okay, greater the angle of prism, greater will be the deviation by the prism. Okay, so next, uh, already I have told you the condition for minimum deviation, right? Condition for minimum deviation. So this refracted ray inside the prism must be parallel to the base of the prism so at this condition or deviation will be minimum so what is the notation for minimum deviation that is uh, d equal to uh, d uh, delta equal to dm and so in this condition angle of incidence will be equal to angle of emergence okay so this implies r1 must be equal to r2 so by using this condition r1 equal to r2 i'm, I'm assuming that that value will be r just an assumption okay and then i'm using the condition i equal to e as well as delta equal to d m okay so here in equation number three i have put r1 equal to r2 and that value is r so by putting this value i got r equal to a by 2 and again the condition delta equal to d m and i equal to e i have uh, plugged this value in equation number four and i got that d m equal to uh, twice i plus a from here i have just calculated the value of i that is dm equal to uh, i equal to dm minus a divided by 2. So this value is important you have to remember this dm equal to twice i plus a okay and so this angle of incidence in terms of minimum deviation and angle of prism so I am going to use this in the later deduction for the deduction of refractive index. So now we have derived the deviation as well as minimum deviation. So now we are going to derive the refractive index of that glass prism. So to derive the refractive index of glass prism, I'll use Snell's law, right? Sin i by sin r equal to what? Constant and that constant is known as refractive index. So here I'll assume that suppose this is medium one and say this is medium two. So as you can see, if we consider this AB interface, the ray of light is traveling from medium 1 to medium 2. So I'll represent the refractive index as refractive index of medium 2 with respect to medium 1, that is N to 1. Okay. So here, therefore, the refractive index the refractive index of prism is given by is uh -huh. uh, it's so what given by so n to one right n to one I can express this as refractive index of medium 2 divided by refractive index of medium 1. So n2 divided by n1 equal sin i divided by sin r. Okay. So refractive index of uh, that prism will use, we are using the Snell's law. Okay. So n21 refractive index equal to sin i by sin r. So now let's put the value of i as well as the value of r. Okay. So sin also n2, n21 sin i. So what is the value of sin i? i is d m minus a divided by 2 and sine what is the value of a that is r what, oh, sorry what is the value of r that is a divided by 2 okay so this is the expression for refractive index this is what expression for the refractive index of the prism okay so now if the deviation is small or the if all the angles are small okay if the all angles are small and in that condition we can assume sine dm minus a divided by 2 is approximately equal to dm minus a divided by 2 as well as sine 
a by 2 is approximately equal to a by 2 ok. So, now next equation will be n to 1 ok. So, for simplicity I will write this only n ok, but if you want then you can write n to 1. So, now I can write in place of sign dm minus a divided by 2 I can write dm minus a divided by 2 and in the denominator part I can write a divided by 2. I think it's clear. Ok, now two, as you can see 2, 2 will cancel out. So, we can write n equal to dm minus a divided by a. Ok, now I'll simplify the equation. Now I'll simplify the equation and I'll find the expression for this minimum deviation in terms of refractive index. Ok, so now n equal. So, d I'll, I'm dividing the expression individually by a, dm by a minus a divided by a. So, a, a will cancel out. So, I'll get 1 here. So, n equal to dm divided by a minus 1. Okay. Okay. So, from this expression, I'll, uh, what, what we can do? Uh, I will convert this 1 to the other side. So, I can write dm by a equal n plus 1. Okay. So, from here I can write dm equal to n plus 1 whole into a. Okay. Oh, see, there's a check once. Okay. Okay. All the values. Okay. So, this is the expression. Okay. So, from this equation we can say that the small prism do not deviate much. Okay. I hope it's clear now. Okay. Okay. Dm. okay. So, I hope it's done. Okay. So, dear students there might be you please because I rub all the data. Okay. So, here you please once please check the sign here I am writing plus it might it may be minus okay because I already uh, rubbed the data okay you please check this one plus or minus okay if you have something after watching the video I will recorrect it in the next my, in my next video okay so this is about the refraction by a prism now we'll discuss the optical instruments Okay, so in the optical instrument parts, we have three uh, three types of optical instruments. First one is uh, simple microscope, then compound microscope, and uh, telescope. Okay, so here I'll discuss only simple microscope and compound microscope. Okay, and telescope I don't think it's not much important uh, for the coming exam. So because shortage of time, so I'll just discuss simple and compound. Okay, so let's start with the simple microscope. Okay, so first what you have to know is in case of designing that. Optical instruments we use the uh, we use the method right the refraction as well as the reflection of light. Okay, so let's start with simple microscope. Okay, simple microscope, simple microscope. Okay, so let me tell you what is simple microscope. The simple microscope is just a convex lens. Okay, simple microscope is what just a convex lens. So what is the use of microscope? What is the use of microscope? You already know, right? To observe or to visual the to visualize the small objects, right? You have already used in your lab, I think, in class 11 as well as in your class 10. Okay, so it is just a what? Convex lens. So let me draw a convex lens. Okay, so this is the convex lens, and so this is optical center. Okay, so this is focus, and other side this is also focus. Okay, so here. I have put the object, I have put the object between optical center and focus. So, this is one ray and after refraction it will pass through the focus, okay. And I will consider another ray, so this is the another ray, okay. So, now, so this is, okay, dear student, lag of space, okay, lag of space, the ray must intersect somewhere, okay. So, this is the point of intersection, okay. I am drawing here because of uh, leg of space okay here we got the image okay now say the object be a b and say this is a dash b dash okay so here again for the construction i'm drawing 
a dash cube which is equal to a b and i'll join with the optical center and say so this angle b beta okay this angle be beta and say so this angle be alpha is it clear okay now look here so for the simple microscope okay so we, we place the object in between focus as well as the uh, this optical center okay now you have to remember one thing okay so here we have to write the principle uh, and working right as well as the magnifying power so before defining all this magnifying power and uh, suppose magnifying power working principle let me tell you first LDDV LDDV okay the full form least distance of distinct vision what least distance of distinct vision so what is least distance of distinct vision this is the minimum distance that we can see the object clearly okay suppose if we uh, hold the object very close to the eye we'll see the blur image right so that's why the object must be held a specific distance from the eye is it clear so that distance for normal eye must be 21 centimeter okay so this is what we call least distance of distinct vision generally it is denoted by capital d okay and that value is as i told you this is 25 centimeter okay so here is the image object and you can observe the image from this side okay now you have to remember when we visualize something through the microscope we never see the object because the object is so small that we can't visualize by our naked eye so we always see the image in both the cases okay so now let's start okay so for this principle the working principle for the simple microscope will be what the object is placed in between focus and uh, optical center of the convex lens and the image will uh, form at the least distance of distinct vision means we adjusted the object in such a way that image will form at least distance of distinct vision okay so that's why this condition means this length must be capital d and here a b is the object so from the optical center the distance must be u okay say the focal length of this convex lens be what small f okay i hope now it's clear okay so we have two conditions first the image here we have assumed that image is formed at least distance of distinct vision and next i'll define the image form at infinity so let's discuss this one first that image is forming at least distance of distinct vision okay so here working principle uh, working as well as principle you just you can go through the book but here i'll just define the magnifying power or we can say angular magnification so magnifying power magnifying power it is denoted by small m in some books it is denoted by capital m so what is the magnifying power of simple microscope when the image form at infinite uh, when the image form at least distance of distinct vision so it is defined as the ratio of the angle subtended by image at i to the angle subtended by the object when seen directly when both are at least distance of distinct vision is it clear okay so so here as you can see what is the angle subtended by this object this is beta and what is the angle subtended by the image that is alpha so by definition i can write okay so 10 first is angle subtended by the image okay you can write 10 alpha but for the simplicity let's replace the value okay let me take this alpha as beta and this as angle subtended by the object is alpha so i can write angle subtended by the image is beta and angle subtended by the object is alpha okay why i'm taking 10 alpha and 10 beta because alpha and beta are very small are very small angle okay very small angle so now let's find the expression for it okay so 10 alpha for 10 alpha in place of 10 alpha this is 10 alpha so what i can write i will use the 10 rule okay i will use the 10 rule so i can write a dash q divided by a dash c okay and for oh sorry a dash q divided by a dash a dash c right okay so for 10 beta for 10 beta i can write uh, a b divided by a c right i think it's clear now okay for uh, for beta i am writing a b divided by a c and for alpha i am writing a dash q divided by a c so this is from 
delta. So ten alpha, we consider the triangle LS Q C. And for beta, we have considered the triangle delta A C uh, B. Okay. Okay, now, so for 10 beta, let's check again. For 10 beta, we have AB divided by AC. And for 10 alpha, we have ADSQ divided by ADSC. Okay, so now, let's simplify it. So, M equal to AB divided by AC multiplied by ADSC divided by ADSQ. Okay, is it clear? ADSC, AC, okay. So now, from the figure, you can see that AB divided by AC multiplied by ADSC divided by AQ. ADSQ, right. ADSQ is nothing but AB. So I'll write here AB since ADSQ equal to what? AB. So I'll cancel out these two. Okay. So from here, I can write M equal to ADSC divided by what? AC. Okay. Now let's see from the diagram what is ADSC. Right? What is ADSC? ADSC is nothing but capital D. And what is AC? It's object distance, so U. So here I can write. So ADSC is capital D, right? And AC is what? U. Okay. So this is the expression M equal to D by U. Okay. Now let's express this value M in terms of means in different form. Okay. In terms of focal length, you can say. Okay, so. Okay, so let F be the focal length of the simple uh, of the convex lens of the convex lens used as simple microscope. Simple microscope, okay. This is simple microscope, okay. So, in that case, okay, now you see, okay. So, students are already, I told you, right, object is placed in between focus and optical center, but there are, uh, the, the, this is the space, right? You can place anywhere, isn't it? You can place the object anywhere here. If you want, then you can place here. You, if you want, then you can place here. And if you want, you can place the object at the pole of the at the pole of what? At the pole of the lens. But when you place the object at the pole, then you can't see the image, right? So you can put anywhere between F and C. So we have to find the object distance by using lens formula. Okay. So now, if F is the focal length of the convex lens using as a simple microscope, then by, by lens formula, by lens formula, I can write 1 by V minus 1 by U equal to what? 1 by F. So from here, I'll find the value of u, okay? So 1 by u equal to 1 by v minus 1 by f, okay? So now I'll put here, okay? So now d equal, I can write, or therefore m equal, okay? d into 1 by u, so d multiplied by 1 by v minus 1 by f. Is it clear? So d equal to what? 1 by V minus 1 by F. Okay. From here, when you multiply everything, then you'll get the answer. Okay. Or let me give you one very simple method. Okay. Simple method. Okay. Now what I'll do, so I need the expression D by U, right? So what I'll do is, so from here, I'll multiply on both sides by V. So V multiplied by 1 by V, V multiplied by 1 by U equal to V multiplied by 1 by F. So, uh, okay, dear students, so this one, okay, we'll multiply uh, with V on both sides, okay? So in my next class, I'll derive this expression, okay? So, or you can try at home. So you just multiply and you try to get this D by U value, okay?